Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. This is your Pisces season reading. According to your rising sign or sun sign if you don't have your birth time. So February 19th all the way to March 20th, 2024. I'm starting with obviously the element of water with Pisces. So if you are a Pisces rising, Scorpio or Cancer, those messages are for you. Now, if you want to listen to Pisces season collective message, then this is also for you. All right, let's get started. We start with the Mermaid Oracle, which I am not surprised showed up for Pisces season. I have a little pile of um, cards Starseed cards, Isis cards, dragon cards, and vibrational medicine. So let's see what we have for you. Whoa. So first card is strong, is truth. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. I am loving this for ending a whole zodiac year, okay? The zodiac archetype of Pisces is the unifier. So everything that you've learned through those cosmic energies and waves, this is for you to embody a version of yourself that you've never shone before, okay? And you had two cards. Meditation. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. Not surprised also again with Pisces. So your truth in this last season of the Zodiac is going to come, be revealed to you in higher ways of embodiment through meditation. So just making sure that you're taking the time to not only feel the energy of your authentic self, but becoming a walking higher self. That's the message I've been receiving for myself Um I actually am a, now that I'm thinking about it, I am a water rising sign. I am a Pisces rising, you guys. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> okay, all right. So I should have a lot of details and data for us. Okay, then we have for Isis Oracle. I love this. I don't know if some of you know, but you see how it looks a little bit like a light bulb. This is an instrument that was measuring um, Earth's and frequencies. So definitely some of you that are uh, familiar with my channel, I've been saying to you that I'm going to be releasing the sun frequency. This is the front of the third eye for Pisces season. So that's going to be part of your vibrational medicine. I'm also going to be releasing a pharmacy. So that is just very interesting to me. It says here, ancient power mysteries. I love this card very much about the power of your voice. So remember, this is a collective message. It says here, the oracle guides you to honor the power of your voice, whether through spoken or sung words or through what you write speak about or stand for symbolically. You have a potentially very powerful healing voice and you are guided to recognize the responsibility that you have for what you proclaim through your voice. Wow. Okay. Well, after a whole Zodiac year, I'm sure that we've all had lessons about manifestation through the power of the voice. So this is continuing. I feel also that some of you, uh, if you are inclined to uh, benefit or want to start using your voice in powerful ways, mantra, singing mantra was really, really helpful for me to decondition myself from negative conditioning patterns I have a Scorpio son. You know, it was very hard for me not to become sarcastic about things that had manifested and just claim otherwise. Working with mantras and those higher expressions through a language that I was not familiar with was really helpful. So that could be your sign maybe to look into singing mantras, okay? Uh, because the voice is involved, 
again, if you are able to affirm and not <laughs> doubt <laughs> your own words, then go for affirmation. I, I just had a very heavy negative conditioning, okay? And um, that's how I had to do it. I had to first do frequency healing for a year so I could meditate. And then I started using chanting, especially seed mantra, just like Om, Lam, Vam, all those things. And then I went into more complex. Okay, so be patient with yourself with this process. Your truth, especially if you have a water rising sign or if you don't know your birth time, a uh, sun water sign okay this is very important for you to harness because you're connected to the power of the law of vibration through the water element let's see what else oh no you're not gonna believe this golden orange dragon expands your light for ascension be a peaceful warrior help those in need and remember your magnificence what i was going to say Look at this, you're not going to believe it. Look at what this dragon is doing. Rewriting his, her own story. Flipping the page through your own personal story. Letting go of certain old chapters. But making sure that you're the one in charge of what you want to manifest next. Wow, this feels powerful. It's almost like, you know, Pisces is like an ending. It's like the full circle. But it's really showing you like when you come full circle, you're. it's almost like it, it, it's such a crucial part where the ending is going to define the beginning. Yeah. And you had two dragons that wanted to show up. So the green dragon helps you tune into the secrets of nature. Receive answers and guidance from nature aligned with your divine essence. Wow. I love this. Some of you, it's been, I've been receiving a lot of keys. Now, I do work with sound, so for me, it's, it's been important to just pay attention. I'm receiving a lot of downloads around keys to help with the health. Now, some of you, maybe through sound, because it's especially with that water quality. Seems that it could be helping you with your affirmation, with your power of reconditioning yourself, but also becoming and embodying this higher version of self. Now, as far as the frequencies, I pulled the yin frequency healing. Okay? So already with this, okay, what I'm feeling is that this is an invitation to tap into your feminine energy. So what I would do, because the yin frequency does not have any mantra, okay? I would listen to the sun frequency and the yin frequency healing maybe at night. Some of you, maybe there's something as far as, remember, the reprogramming. So maybe at night or when you meditate, you can put them back to back. But also, I'm being called to mention to you, maybe you do not know about this mudra, where this is, you see how it's creating an infinity lock, okay? And in some version and schools of um, meditation, this is connected to the root chakra, muladhara, okay? And when you put your uh, right thumb on top, it is masculine energy that you're healing, so I would say, put your left thumb on top of the right and then close this, what am I doing? <laughs> close this loop, okay? And meditate to the sun frequency and make sure that if you're struggling with receiving, balancing, receiving energy, allowing, surrendering, work with the skin frequency and you can still use that mudra. Okay, so that would be something uh, that I'm feeling called to mention right now. Okay, let's put this here and let's get those mermaids into the mix. All right, so what else do we need to know for water rising or sun signs? This feels like a critical, almost like, a, you know, 
and not surprised. It's it's like an it's like an end of a cycle of a season of a zodiac season, and it means review, but also uh, re review so you can have that main character channel, that authentic truth that wants to come forward. Okay, yes. I don't know why I felt called to <laughs> look behind this way. Time and tide. Oceanic spells and rituals. It's interesting that she's drawing a heart in the sand. Okay, I know what that means. Let me put all the cards first. Sanctuary. Wow. <laughs> somebody, I just had a session this morning with somebody that reminded me about baths and how beneficial they were at least especially for me if you have a old blood type part of the ancient traditions and i can't remember where i read this but i can tell you with o plus blood type i've i've seen this very strongly in myself but in others as well you are benefiting a lot from ingesting minerals and nutrition through the skin so through baths mm -hmm. Cocomancy, seashell divination and wisdom of shells. Interesting. Let me see. And Atlantis, rapid development, excellence and success. Wow. Okay. This feels very crystal technology advancement you guys um as far as the channeling so some of you there is a remembrance from CERN knowledge okay from Atlantean time that are you know with the seashell they're coming to revisit your life okay and you see especially with the time and tide told you there's something you really hear about as if this period of time and space that you're experiencing and you're supposed to channel a higher truth it's almost as if you've already lived a certain expression of what you've already lived right now okay and all this work that you've done on yourself on your surrounding on self-mastery but now there is this new page this new alignment to something more organic to yourself more in alignment with your own temple that maybe in the past was altered okay it seems that you would highly benefit from the water not surprising pisces and this is for water rising and sun signs being close to water, being in water, it could be showers, having rituals around cleansing. And I would say here, especially in order to allow. You see here the truth and the meditation. We are in a modern society where we're more into the do, 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 go, go, go. And we're being called to shift but at the same time, especially from what I'm seeing with the collective awakening, we're being called for the ones that have been doing this for a couple of years already to become more of that embodiment and ground this energy. Now, some I've, I need to mention the mantra Om Mani Padme Hum because that's one that is being used as a sacred purification of the ego of the anger of all of the negative conditionings okay and especially the more you practice this mantra when you start touching bodies of water when you go and shower and that water is running out or even through a bathtub and you know or just entering and putting your feet in the ocean there's a lot of water here you, your vibration is literally modifying the molecule, the water molecule, 
and sending that vibration out. So I would say for the ones that have already done a lot of this work, the more you do this, go through the ritual to consciously, when you touch water, pray when you or what i mean by praying you're sending that prayer may all this this energy be transferred all this love all this higher truth and really it's like you become your higher truth that's a vibration it's not the result that matters the version of you that is in truth is the vibration that matters. What's the result is meant for us to expand and to benefit from the specific version that you are embodying. Okay. So I would add to this yin frequency healing. Om Mani Padme Um just because of what I know from what I also said to you guys as far as I could not affirm positive things that were not in my life. I was very bogged down, especially, you know, after, you know, two decades, three decades, you know, of negative conditioning and repetition of karmic cycle. It was very hard to decondition myself to what had been, especially with here, time and tide. This is a phase where you are harnessing the power of changing almost your body chemistry and changing the frequency of the water in your body so you send out this you know this the shell the geometry of the shell is infinitely like a fractal repeating itself again and again and again and again okay but this time with atlantis we're trying to harness a version of the self that we haven't manifested yet okay so doing some writing could be beneficial and what i would say is that that's a habit that i have on and off <laughs> okay but it's really um beneficial where i meditate with certain frequencies and then i write after the meditation some of the downloads or just the feelings the you know the feedback okay Putting yourself into that feedback may help you to change the negative looping and enter a new loop, a new cycle. Because remember, you're preparing yourself to unify this whole past zodiac year, but that means also preparing the new year ahead. Okay? So that's what I have for you, my dear water, rising, or sun signs. Remember, you can use the sun frequency to shine and illuminate more light on some of the truth that needs to be revealed to you. I think that's all I have. Thank you so very much. Namaste. If you are a fire rising or sun sign, those are your messages for Pisces season. I do strongly suggest that you listen to the water element reading. This is also the collective message for this season. There's a lot to understand as far as ending a zodiac wheel and making sure we're preparing a new cycle. All right, so let's see what we have as far as the cards before we pull some of the mermaid oracle cards. All right, we have observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. Hmm, see, it's interesting. Because obviously, divine matrix of life is about cycles. Okay, so definitely a reconfirmation to listen to the collective message. Pyramid of light and psychic protection. As a being of light, darker energies may at times seek to interfere with your spiritual progress. There is nothing to fear and only more awareness of the power and protection of divine love to experience. The pyramid of light confirms that energies have been causing interference with your path and it is now time for that interference to cease completely through loving divine power. All right. This is interesting again. 
a lot of higher guidance for you, my dear fire rising or fire sun sign in the collective message. Okay, a lot. I'm not going to repeat myself um, because I'm really strongly inviting you to listen to this. There was a lot of guidance about this. Wow, a lot of light in those cards. Look at this. Golden Atlantean Dragon helps you remember the wisdom of Golden Atlantis. Atlantis came up in the collective reading. Awaken, bring back your knowledge, gifts and talents, and reclaim your mastery. Beautiful. Okay. And here, wow, this is interesting. I added a couple of things on this. Prevent psychic manipulation. This is so interesting. Okay. It's in my super empath playlist. And the negative conditionings that you are removing are about ignorance. Here it speaks about knowledge. Ignorance, anger between two people, laziness, and grief. This helps with psychic manipulation. It's almost like, you know, if you're an empath, and if someone is angry at you, that will influence you in your decision making. If someone refuses to ascend or see things from your perspective and stay in theirs, ignorance and laziness, that's going to keep you from making decisions based on what you feel is in alignment with your truth. Same for your empathy towards grief. Okay? So very powerful messages that you have here as far as making sure that in this last cycle of the zodiac wheel that you are entering a phase for, you know, ending that year for starting a new one where you're very aware of your empathy and using it as a gift and power instead of something that cripples you or kind of always shifts or detours your path, okay? Mm -hmm. Feel some of you, this especially here with bringing back the knowledge, the gift and the talents, I feel that some of you, that very empathetic um, personality and tendency to just go with creating harmony in spite of your own you know, feelings and intuition, it's not going to work out for this season, okay? So February 19th all the way to March 20th, you're ending the cycle. It's important for you to enter a greater zodiac year. Let's see what the mermaids want to share with you here. Ooh, sorry, just like this, this. Oh, there you go. Lamp that keeps on like wobbling. A wobble. This is interesting. So I feel like some of you that's very important to get into your sovereign self. Look at this. Reflections. What you contemplate can actualize. But what I find very interesting is that there's almost like a mirror effect here. And transparency. Honest, authentic, genuine, present. Okay. I feel for you, my dear, fire, either rising or sun signs. It's going to be important to shine the light of awareness more so on your partnerships, your relationships, but also how you feel about the things that you want to manifest. And that means if there are doubts and fears under the surface, okay, Pisces is a deep diver, okay, uh, you're going to want to notice it has also this polarity and this duality is going to want to reveal it to you. I would say strongly suggest because I'm going to be releasing the sun frequency, which is activating the front of your third eye. Look at this. There's a lot. Okay. That I would say, once you work with the prevent psychic manipulation, if there is a dynamic here, whether it's grief, if you're letting yourself be influenced by people's 
sadness oh you're not like this oh i'm you know the victim mentality in others if you have a tendency to do that then take the mantra of that grief okay and use the sun frequency so you shine light you shine light on that pattern and see what it reveals to you i suggested in the collective reading which i'm going to repeat because it feels important that if you're doing this especially working with planets you're working with master teachers and i don't care how it sounds to people because i you know i only <laughs> i want to work with people that understand where i come from with uh, the zodiac and the planets and the cosmic alignment we are here to reach enlightenment and the sun is your master teacher of consciousness so we're trying to manifest a higher consciousness for ourselves for others so working with the frequency of the planets is going to help you through this process and for you that not is only going to give you a uh, release of certain maybe um i would say almost like disappointment in relationship or things that don't manifest or didn't manifest in your life because you're going to have clarity you're bringing in pisces season clarity about what was preventing you from reaching your self-mastery your knowledge your gift and talents because this is something that is important you are like a diamond this month that wants to understand the multi-aspect multi-facets of yourself okay let's see what else yamaya the grandmother ocean and primordial okay i wouldn't be surprised here that some of you that's something that i'm receiving so many <laughs> different messages okay i need you to look at your birth chart and i want you to look at your placement especially if you have first house natal placement the planet and master teachers there that you have are inherited energies this is the year of the womb in astrology the first house is the year of the womb and that means i have a lot of clients that come to me with first house energy they don't all have to be but that's a common thing that i'm seeing because that's an awareness that you need to have because there's a lot of things that you inherit and that you might not realize the depth of okay now all the houses from one to six is under the horizon and that means it's subconscious the, sh the sun is not shining there okay it's night that means if you have some placement or a lot of placement under the horizon you're going to want to shine the light on this so i would even suggest for you to use the psoas frequency or the auric womb detoxifier it's in my survival kit for empaths it seems here for my fire rising or fire signs um, that knowing and harnessing your power your own fire is so important okay because it seems it's going to allow you to flow and allow the retrieval of a lot of your potential with more ease and when i said retrieval i would suggest as well if you've had experiences that are very traumatic okay that happens use the soul retrieval fragments this is like a soul fragments sorry soul fragments retrieval same thing um and that could be helpful in this case okay so again if those are strong energies as far as you having a hard time to detoxify from what you inherited from the parent or the family environment go and check out the mantras there and the one that speak to you the most and use it with the sun frequency 
we're going to want to shine some light here, my dear fire signs. It's important for you because you're going to understand patterns. And in this sense, you see here, it's like creating a loop. And that was part of the collective message as well. We are not going to keep the same vibrational pool of energy in Pisces. We're unifying a lot of things. We are unifying our polarity, our duality, transcending uh, our shadows and understanding. So we're creating wholeness. But in that wholeness, there's a whole redefinition of what that means to us now. But some of you, if you do not know what that pool of energy that you're carrying, then this is your month to discover what's within. Okay? So you create without, with much more power and um, almost like by design, okay? Power and design. Intention. Remember, reflection. What you contemplate can actualize. You can actualize your desires. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, same card we had for Pisces, um, Water, Scorpio, Cancer, Sanctuary, okay? I will mention it uh, again doing ritualistic baths where you charge your water with, um, you know, any type of salts or any type of like herbs and things like that can really help you get into this higher vibration. Rose petals in your bath, rose petals are equal to 432 hertz vibrationally. So if you don't have petals, you can use uh, rose water, rose oil, essential oil, or things like that. I don't know why. Maybe that uh, frequency is important for you to unlock. Okay, a lot of pinkish purple here. And um, there was something else. Yes. If you want to meditate or just have the sun frequency here, when you go and take your bath and your ritual bath, that could be a very good unlocking for you. Okay, and especially if you're working more with, you know, um, the aura detoxifier from the womb, and that could help you release this in the water. And then when you let those trauma be released, you know, when the water just leaves the bath, you can just symbolically just see that it's just leaving your body, it's leaving your space. Okay, one more card for you, my fire. Uh, rising or sun sign. I love this. The present gift, treasure, revelation of own value, nowness. This is in the now that you, it, it's a very, <laughs> it's a very, I, I don't want to use the word critical, but it's almost like it's such a valuable, precious time we're in because we have had cosmic waves of many planets, so many master teachers going on the same zodiac sign, so the same archetype. So that means we're going to have a lot of Pisces energy to end also this, this cycle of the zodiac wheel. And that means showing us more how to unify ourselves, to unify our path, so we don't feel fragmented. Okay, you see here, she has a key. She has a key in that energy line. I don't know why, but I'm being called to look at the pinky. This is the heart meridian. So some of you, it might be something with the heart meridian. Go and check out my 12 organ playlist. If that's something that speaks to you, you might have some revelation or some congestion in the heart meridian to release, okay? It's not going to be for everyone. But again, this with observation, you're meant to observe through, you know, meditation, frequency, or just whatever is happening in your relationships, how you react, how you relate to the past, to your parents, to your home, to your family, and kind of shift this because you are in this precious time that has never manifested before and you can manifest something that is really important to you. You have to look at this with truth, honesty, and genuine presence. It says present, present, your presence 
your observation is going to be so empowering for you to find all that you've been seeking, but especially yourself and your value. Thank you so very much. Namaste. If you are an earth rising or sun sign, so Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, those are your messages for Pisces season, February 19th, all the way to March 20th, 2024. Now, I do highly suggest to listen to the water elements so of the first part of this reading where you listen to the collective invitation okay every season there is a theme and this theme is beautiful it's about your authentic self it's about this embodiment and how you can get clues this month this zodiac month um, to reach this place energetically vibrationally now you do have other particular messages for your rising or sun sign so let's see what those are inner alchemy inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love hmm. you had two cards here for the start seed oracle oh and dreams the universe speaks to you through your dreams interesting Here, I feel that the dream world, which is very Piscean energy, okay, the subconscious is going to be important. I do have a subconscious mind frequency, and I would say for you, my dear earth rising or sun sign, go and work with that frequency at night for this whole season, okay? Uh, you don't have to, but this feels like through your dream work, you're going to be doing this a lot of subconscious work at night. So why not take advantage of it? <laughs> Let's see what we have else. Power over seven scorpions. You are being initiated into the magic of conjuring so as to have power to affect lower vibrational forces through your own will and spoken word. You are guided to use this powerful gift with compassion and discernment, with mercy and non-judgment, and you can then manage any toxicity in your life swiftly and with great effect. Wow, this is very much in alignment with the guidance of the power of the voice through this end of this zodiac cycle. So definitely uh, here, you're going to learn how to end certain dualistic patterns within yourself. And some of them seem to still be unconscious. Okay, so bringing light on them. And I would say, I'm going to be releasing for Pisces season, and it's making so much sense now, uh, why I had to wait for the sun frequency to be launched with the Pisces season. Because the sun and all the planets, they're master teachers. So if you are taking seriously this path of enlightenment through astrology, you're going to want to work with planets. So that's why I like to work with the mantra of each planet because I'm calling in the master teacher, that energy. And for the sun, it's about consciousness. So I feel like for you, this is very important. Maybe during the day to work with the sun. Okay, and we'll see. We'll have different guidance also for frequency healing. But at night with the subconscious. So you're working with bringing slowly but surely to the light all that is not love through this season. Okay, so let's see what else. You have a dragon energy here, emerald dragon. Very much connected to Archangel Raphael. And Archangel Raphael works with Archaea virtue. Okay, so probably a lot of removing toxicity from past temptation, past, you know, decisions and things like that. Brings in healing and cosmic abundance. Your dreams. Good fortune is coming. Let your thoughts support your divine perfection. Align with your fifth dimensional blueprint. I really feel here, 
especially with this green that you're going to receive a lot of like crystal uh, heart and mind activation. And that means being able to look and perceive your earthly experience with a higher mind and higher uh, compassion and energy, loving energy towards it. Okay, let's see what frequencies I pull for you. Oh, interesting. So this is for the YouTube members, the void. Okay, so some of you should have that. Okay, access to that. Or the yang frequency healing. Interesting because the collective message had the yin frequency healing. So for you, finding power into moving into action, when you are moving and conjuring some of the toxicity, how you're going to behave and react and observe and, and talk and manifest is going to be guided. So what I would suggest here is just like what I prescribe for um, the collective, I want to show you a mudra because those frequencies, they don't have mantras. So there isn't some schools of uh, mudra that this is connected to your root chakra okay so your connection to earth and remember you're trying to root and anchor this new embodiment when you have your right thumb on top okay and then you loop this like this this is yang energy and when you reverse it this is yin okay so you could work with this yang um, mudra through the yang frequency, if you have access, through the void, and also through the sun. So you're not being called to use any mantra. If you have any um, that pops up, that's great. Part of the collective was also Om Mani Padmeum. Okay, it could be something um, that you want to look into. All right, let's put this here and let's pull some of those mermaids. Let's see what the mermaids now are suggesting. Okay. Interesting, all this green. The magic of the Koilin Druid. Caution, secrecy, and wary. Okay. Hmm. Soul cage. Rescue, escape from captivity and restriction. And falling in love, kissing the divine in another and in yourself. Wow. What a shift through this cycle for you. Okay, my earth rising and sun signs. What I feel here doesn't have to resonate with everyone, but I would say here, you might have in your natal chart some retrogrades and i would say in particular jupiter saturn uranus that are coming into my mind okay i do have for my youtube members frequencies that are connected to those planets if you have them in retrograde please work with those planets it's like unfinished business you see here some of you, you need to escape from this, okay? If you're not ready for the commitment to the membership, work with the sun and allow yourself to just, you know, according to what I'm seeing, just claim that you want to remove all that is limiting you, that you're wanting to bring the light of cosmic abundance and healing in your life. Because this card with this, okay, is showing me that there's been some restrictions, okay, in your life. And now as we're ending this cosmic wheel, zodiac wheel of this year, we are wanting for you to literally just like merge this energy and this knowledge and bring more abundance, okay? I feel like there's a sneeze that is coming. <laughs> My grandmother used to say when you sneeze and somebody says something, it's the truth, okay? And I feel like, 
like that I looked at the light and I didn't sneeze so there's something here as far as there's a truth for you to receive but only if you look at the light so for sun frequency oh that's starting again Ooh. Sun, 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 and some of you have access to the YouTube membership, work with your retrogrades, my dear earth rising and earth signs, very, very adamant on this, and if you need guidance, please reach out, okay, let's see what else, mm. dreams 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 vivid dreaming dream messages dream teaching this is so interesting because okay when i see the jellyfish i am connected right away to andromeda andromeda connected to pisces in the matrix as far as the star seeds and its location so it's it's kind of inviting me to also invite you to look at where Pisces energy is in your chart. Now, some of you, if you need to put the light on something, let's say you have Pisces in your fourth house. They are then in the house of your home. Not just the home that when you were a child, but also the home that you create right now. And that means also your temple because your ultimate home is your body. It's your vessel. Okay? That kind of contains your light, your source, your essence. And I would say if you have Pisces there in the fourth house, then all this energy is really related to things that happen under the home and that is happening inside your home, your temple. Okay. Now, you also want to look at the, um, your twelfth house. What zodiac sign do you have there? Okay. And this is your, the only one that's getting very specific. Okay. Very specific zodiac indication. Almost like, a, like you're meant to learn about your chart and how to understand certain patterns of your chart. Okay. I do birth chart readings, you guys. Okay. Uh, look at the 12 sign, 12 house zodiac sign. And go listen to its message in this reading. That means, for example, if you have Aquarius in your 12th house, go and listen to the air message. There is a lot that wants to be revealed. And it's like, maybe some of you, there was a lot that was hidden. When you have a lot of retrogrades, okay, or just retrogrades, they're unfinished business, they can be very dulled. Okay, they can, it can be very hidden. But here, you're getting a lot of guidance. Definitely a reconfirmation for you to work with the subconscious mind frequency at night. Please, 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 if you have been enjoying my work, that is going to help you tremendously. 12th house and Pisces. Where do you have this? This is going to be meaningful and relevant for you. Okay. Again, if you have questions, please email me or DM me, whatever. Some of you, you know how to reach me. <laughs> All right. Divination. Yes. Prophecy, fate, destiny, future, fortune. Okay. Some of you, there's just something that you're meant to manifest. Your fortune is our fortune. That means you being this shiny version and expression of your potential is helping the entire solar system. That's how far I'm going. I'm not joking with this. I take this very seriously. Your vibration and what you're meant to embody is precious. It's, it's time for you to fall in love with what I'm saying, like those words of, of knowing that you are precious. You are cherished. Your dreams are precious and cherished. And they're meant, so you're meant in this season to alchemize a lot of your fears, your duality, and finishing certain 
cycles, okay? And it seems that you're getting a lot of support energetically to do so, okay? So that's what I have for you. Again, you're the only one that I mentioned this for, my dear Earth, Rising, and Sun sign. If you need support, come to mom. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye, you guys. Namaste. If you have an air rising or sun sign, so that means if you are Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, rising ideally, but if you don't know your birth time, then your sun sign. Let's see what cards you have, and then we'll pull some oracle cards. All right, so first, very powerful little um, vision here. What does it say? Intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. Interesting. So February 19th to March 20th, 2024, my dear air rising or sun sign, your intuition is going to be keen. Okay, keen. I don't know why I'm like, I, like this is almost like sharp, like a, like a sword, like a blade. Okay, very important. It kind of relates back to the collective message, which I'm inviting you to watch the water elements of the first part of this reading, because this is all about truth. You know, we're ending the zodiac wheel. We're starting a new wheel after. So when you're ending you're celebrating but you're also like that celebration and that review is really much like a, a preparation also of the main character and the year ahead as far as your cosmic alignment okay you have here beautiful goddess of 10,000 names if you have felt constrained by a role, a name, or identity and are wishing for assistance in growing beyond it, or if you have sensed a new role or identity calling you into greater expression and would love some divine help in that growth, this oracle indicates the help you need is already with you, urging your growth from within. Definitely some of you, if you've got and received some of the wild feminine goddess energy readings, you're probably getting some, <laughs> some surge, maybe some activation. Maybe some of you, you have some asteroids of those goddesses, Medusa, 149, Kali, 4227, Ishtar, 7088, you have Lilith, I have to channel also Nyx. Nyx, I used to work with her a lot. Nyx 3908. Okay. Some of you working with the goddess energy this month is going to help you. Almost like, I wouldn't say sharpen your intuition, but you'll know which goddess is going to help you drop the layers of the self that has been worn out it's almost like the uh, you're really more unbecoming here okay it's almost like some of you i feel with an air rising or air sun sign this is more like a dropping of the mask it's almost like this is the last act on the zodiac wheel so we want to make sure that you know it's like at the end of the theater or the the play or whatever we're seeing the true actor not the character that you know all characters have their worth but we're in a time and space of the universe where we're just so lucky to have such higher awareness about being able to understand that we're not the i we're not this body we're not this character but at the same time we need an embodiment to experience earth but that means that within this one life, you can be so many versions. But at the same time, it feels like maybe you see it behind. You have like a few characters here, but you see behind. It's like the higher self watching. There's for you, my dear air element here, some type of like, almost like merge of all those characters into this higher version so you're you're dropping the mask of all of those dropping the fears dropping the layers of 
an authenticity, dishonesty with yourself, with others, whatever the case is. And you're literally starting to get vision and intuition of a grander version. Something more in alignment. Wow. Quan Yin Pink Dragon brings firm love that resets your karmic balance. Well, maybe you had a lot to experience as part of your karmic debt, okay, in this lifetime. And maybe some of you, you know about this. It says also, see all your cords dissolved by transcendent love. Enjoy your freedom. Look for the divine around you. I love this for you. You could work with Kuan Yin's energy, just calling her her presence. I am going to be releasing for this Sun in Pisces season the frequency of the sun. I have this old album that is for all the planets. If you want to work with astrology and your cosmic alignment and life force and cosmic abundance, working with the master teachers, aka the planets, is part of where you start with. I will be releasing for every season uh, the zodiac archetypes, okay? So that's going to be very exciting because we're going to go through this this year, but with all those higher supportive tools, vibrational tools. But some of you, if you've had in your natal chart some retrogrades, please go and work with those frequencies. Retrogrades, when you're born with them, it's like unfinished pages of a book okay and some of you may be watching you could have a lot of them or just one it does not matter even though you feel like oh there's more to do because i have more planets no 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 believe me i have one chiron retrograde and one venus retrograde so only one planet with a retrograde and it's was it took me pretty much my entire life so far <laughs> to understand the karma and resolve and dissolve okay so Again, there's no better or worse, but there's definitely a, a, a desire to bring and shine light on your human conditioning and also how to uncondition so you become a higher version of the self still in the embodiment of a physical self. Okay, let's see what else as far as vibration. Interesting, the law of attraction and sacred union Part of my frequencies, this is in the um, Empath and Survival Kit, if I'm not mistaken. And the yin-yang frequency healing, my yin and yang frequency playlist. So that's very interesting because what I would say here, I'm using Om Mani Padme Hum as a mantra here. There's no mantra in this one. Om Mani Padme Hum came up in the collective message. What I'm going to show you is a mudra. So when you listen to, you can listen to those and you can also listen to the sun, especially bringing, working with the sun will bring light, illuminate a situation. Okay. It will bring higher awareness on something that is unknown, unseen. When you have, this is in different schools of, uh, you know, um, meditation, this is connected also to the root, muladhara. And when you have your right thumb on top, this is going to connect to your masculine, yang energy line. When you have your left, you're going to be connected with your yin energy. So I would say for you listening to the yin yang frequency, the sun frequency, this working with how you feel on different layer of this mudra is going to be great. There's a rebalancing there's something that you probably already know you need to address. Okay, so let's go and deep dive as far as this energy. Oof. Visions. Didn't I tell you about this? Look at this. Intuition. I mean, like you are being watched over for sure, but there's like that version of yourself that wants to be birthed. That wants to be almost like created, you know? It's like, it's, it's, it's a resolution, an alchemy 
of bringing love on all this soul experience that is very powerful and very unique. You might have a culmination. I would say you're the only one that I felt that moon energy. On the 24th upcoming of February, we have the moon in the placement of the head of the dragon constellation. This is going to be very powerful. You've seen my dragon, even though it's, I mean, yes, it's the dragon lunar year. But the activation of the dragon energy is very strong this year. You might want to make sure that you check a date with yourself for the moon, the full moon on the 24th and work with the moon frequency. You might want to use Om Mani Padme Um and use those mudras as well. I like the uniqueness of each um, element, I'll have to say. It's very powerful. Soul cage. This is interesting. The... Um, I think it was fire. No, earth. Earth element also had this. Um, it's When I said earth, remember I told you as far as the embodiment, you need to be in flesh, in your body, incarnated. So this energy, instead of feeling the limitation of your human conditioning, you're going to transcend that. And it's almost like, yeah, you'll still be in this physical small body, but you're going to start harnessing and understanding at a soul level, and especially in terms of your third eye, because the moon and the sun, they both work with your third eye. One from the fr front, the sun, and one from the back, the moon. So I would say for you at the moon, the full moon, there might be some things that you don't see about what has been limiting you that is going to be revealed even further. That's so powerful. Dreams. That came up also. Vivid dreaming, dream messages, dream teaching. I would suggest to work at night, every night, especially for that whole Pisces season with the subconscious mind frequency the engineering of the subconscious mind is based off the mathematical rules that i discovered in the inception movie it's no joke this is like mathematically amazing okay so some of you if like this is your jam <laughs> definitely go and check out this frequency and 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 watch the communication between your subconscious and conscious self increase. Concomency, seashell divination, wisdom of shells. This is interesting. You have a lot of pink, purple that wants to merge with this blue. Okay, so it feels like with the pink, I'm connected more to the heart. And like in the purple and the blue to the higher chakra, it's almost like there is here um, some type of higher feminine energy. Okay, again, the goddess of 10,000 names. So some of you, I'm going to repeat this. Maybe you've never gotten this. You're act, there's an activation with your a goddess asteroid in your chart or goddess energy you're receiving a lot of higher energy to maybe remove some of the unknown, remove some of the illusion, remove some of the fears. Now, cancer is connected to the moon and it's connected also to um, the back, the moon, so the back of the third eye. Yeah, definitely. In the physical body, though, cancer is more connected to the chest, to the heart, to, to whatever you could carry on your chest. So some of you, there might be some energy that is weighing on you, some past grief or past, I would say with the law of attraction, I would say maybe things that are along the lines of rejection, abandonment issue, not deserving, not feeling deserving or worthy of. We're ending this. But there, I'm just mentioning things that are popping up energetically that could be for you. Let's see what else. The crane bag. 
sacred ocean medicine clutter declutter and choice okay this is this is a powerful message for you my dear air rising and sun sign it's almost like giving you like a second chance on looking at what was created whether it's from past life or this life and recreate anew and that means you're going to want to clean up also your subconscious fears and clean up some of the things that are unknown to you, some of those patterns. So working with, you know, um, working on and deep diving in your subconscious is very important because it's going to allow you to feel the freedom of being who you truly are meant to to be and there's a part of you that knows this so freaking deeply it's almost like you might be even like i know this i know this why am i not taking the leap what i'm seeing here from the numbers you look at this 23 32 there might have been a end of 35 there might have been End of 37, 24. Okay, I'm getting messages from the angles of the zodiac. There might have been a lot of, uh, you know, mirror effect with your environment. And you may have repeated a lot of subconscious patterns. You're here to break the chain of a family repetition and, and cycle. Definitely here. But you are protected. But don't let that, uh, don't let those fear and the sense of wanting to feel protected and, and safe from harm cage you. You're going to want to take chances, but chances that are based off what your intuition leads you to take, okay? And remember that your best point of action is from the place of love. And that means like if you want to feel better, this is the best place to start with. Okay, if you wake up in the morning, you're not feeling great, don't ignore it. What can I do to feel better? What can I stop doing to feel better? Okay, so there's a lot here that can be revealed to you through Pisces season. Thank you so very much. Namaste. <music>